Hey guys, it's Marissa. I'm back for another booktube video um, and I'm actually going to film my first reading vlog video. Let's get right into it. Uh, the first book that I am reading right now is the first um, Wicked book and this one right now I'm about 218 pages into it um, and kind of a lot's happened. So yeah, I mean it's it's not easy reading. It definitely takes some thinking. Um, they, Gregory Maguire does really use a lot of complicated political terms in it. So you really have to kind of think, think while you're reading this. This isn't one of those ones you can just breeze through and, and everything is going to be great. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth a read so far. So far, it's definitely worth a read. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, I will keep updating my progress on this. I'm hoping to read about 100 pages a day so that I can get through this in the next few days and do a review video on it and then move on to the next one because I have the other books in the series. So yeah, there's that one. Um, the other one that I'm reading, well, not reading, I'm listening to an Audible book uh, for A Clash of Kings, which is a second Game of Thrones novel. Um, now I'm gonna preface this by saying, I have watched all the seasons of Game of Thrones. So, and I know that the the seasons are loosely based on the books, which right now is, is evident that for the most part, they do follow along with the books. Um, I'm gonna say I absolutely hated season eight of Game of Thrones. For anybody that hasn't watched it yet, I'm sorry, you should have watched it by now because it's been out for a minute. But it was terrible. It was it, literally the worst. I was one of those people who signed that petition that was going around that said they need to go back and redo this because it was just, I literally like, I don't know, you can't even see back there on my bookshelf, but I literally own seasons one through seven on DVD because I love them that much and I've rewatched them. I will not be buying season eight because I hated it that much. I would literally rather pretend it does not exist and just pretend that the story is unfulfilled rather than watch season eight again. Okay, so rant over on that. Anyway, so I've been listening to the audiobooks. So yeah, I'm about, I think I have like 20 hours left on it or something. So I'm about a quarter of the way into the book. Um, it's gonna take me a couple weeks to finish it because I listen to it for about two hours a day. Sometimes maybe more depending on what I'm doing in the evening. But yeah, I mean, I honestly, I could not read the physical books, especially before I watched the series because it, it's, it's too character heavy. They start talking about all these people and you have no idea what the hell is going on most of the time. I think I read through maybe the first and, and part of the second book and then I just quit because there's no way. Because I have them on my Kindle to read. I don't know if that's ever going to happen or not, but now that I'm familiar with the show, I might be able to make it through those books. Um, right now, I just kind of prefer to listen to the eBooks. I've been listening on 1.25 times the speed because at some points the narrator does talk really slowly. Um, he does a really good job though of doing a bunch of different voices. They're not even close to how the TV show voices are, so it is a little off-putting at first. But once you get used to it, you kind of start to to realize who's talking and what's going on and and recognize the voices. But yeah, I mean it's it's definitely it's definitely worth a read or a listen if you really like Game of Thrones. Um, I, I guess I'm interested to see how far this diverges from the actual show. So the thing that I'm reading on Kindle right now is um, Allegiant from the Divergent series. Uh, that is the third book. I just finished the second book last night. So I'm starting, I started on the third book. I'm about a chapter in because I can't go to bed without at least starting the next one, you know, just to make me feel like I have some continuity. So of course, um, I just started that. The whole big news has just been released. So yeah, I have read those books before. Um, people say they really went to crap between the second or by the by the third book. Um, I don't know. I don't really know if I agree with that. I I guess I don't remember enough about Allegiant to really to really say that. Like I will as I keep reading the book, but. I mean, I think the premise is good. It's it's a little bit light on the, you know, the YA romantic aspect of it. Of course, these books got popular back when, um, you know, The Hunger Games and The Maze Runner and, and all that came out. So they're all the dystopian YA fantasy. Um, so, you know, I mean, I, th I think it's pretty good for being in that genre. I just had a hankering for an easy read and that's what I read right before I go to bed. I've already read them before. Um, so yeah, 
those are going pretty good. I, you know, like I said, I'm about a chapter into that one. So yeah, I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow. What's up? It's Marissa. Um, just in the drive-thru right now trying to get some food for lunch. I'm at McDonald's. I know, totally unhealthy. But, uh, you know, I'm hungry today and I just don't care. Uh, probably will not have a whole lot of time to read on my lunch break, but sometimes, depending on how boring work is, I might have time to read a little bit before I get home anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the updates from yesterday. Um, the video of my cat laying on my arm while I'm trying to read. She's so funny. Um, she kept getting really up close to my phone because she could see herself because I was using the front facing camera. So she could see herself and she was like, ooh, ooh, what is that? What is that? What's going on? Um, 10 years old, that's my mini kitty. Like, mini is an M-I-N-I, -I, like, small kitty, because <laughs> she used to be really small. Um, she still kind of is, uh, for a cat, I guess. She weighs, like, 11 pounds, my black cat. You guys probably saw in the background from one of the other videos. He weighs 15 pounds. He's a big beast of muscle. So, yeah, he's, he's my goober kitty. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Marissa, back for another update. Um, just at work right now, figured I could use a little bit of a walk and do a little bit of an update. Uh, it's going to be kind of a crazy evening today, so I know I'm not going to get to update this later, and I probably won't get much reading done today, honestly. Um, I finished Wicked last night, which I will be doing an update video or a review video on that shortly. So you guys will know all about how I feel about that book. Um, I will just say that I am a little bit disappointed in it, um, from what I remember. So, anyway, I'll go into more detail in the review video. I have not started Son of a Witch yet. I did bring it to work with me just in case I did get a chance to be able to read it. Um, we're actually going to look at a house tonight that is about 45 minutes away from where we currently live. So, between all that driving and having to figure out dinner and then get home and go to bed at a reasonable time for both of us to get up for work tomorrow, it's going to be a little crazy. So, I figured I would just do this now um, while I needed a little bit of a break from sitting at the desk and just kind of update everybody. Uh, I've listened to at least a couple more hours of the Game of Thrones book 2 audiobook and I did read a little bit more in the Divergent series book 3 last night which is Allegiant. Yes, I always forget the order of the second two books because it's really weird how it goes. Um, it's Divergent, Insurgent, then Allegiant which I would think Insurgent would be the last one but okay whatever. Not my problem. So yeah, just wanted to give everybody a little bit of an update. I'll try to take some pictures, you know, maybe a little bit of video and make things fun. So, hope everybody's having a great day. Hey, what's up guys? It's Marissa and it's finally Friday. Woo woo! So excited. Um, so, I didn't get a whole lot of reading done as expected yesterday. I did get, I don't know, 22 pages into Son of a Witch. Um, and I've been listening to my audiobook, of course, because I'm on my way to work right now. Um, exciting news is, is that after work, I'm going to go get a brand new camera. Um, Canon Rebel T3i, I believe. I mean, it's a couple years old. It's used, but hey, you know what? It was a good price. Uh, the lady that I'm buying it from seems pretty cool. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it actually. So that hopefully my videos are a lot better quality than with my iPhone. Um, yeah, I looked up the megapixels on an iPhone. I think the front facing camera is like six and the back facing one's maybe eight. Um, and the camera itself is 18. Um, I think I still have videos for a couple more weeks coming out. And I got to film a couple of videos this weekend, uh, review videos. I'm hoping to finish Son of a Witch this weekend so that I can do a book review on Wicked and Son of a Witch. And I think I'm just going to combine them just because I really don't think that they need to be their own video. But you never know. Once I get into talking about it, I may end up splitting it up. So 
yeah, I didn't really read a whole lot in Allegiant last night. Jeez, I keep forgetting the name of that book. It's terrible. I read it like umpteen times too. Um, I didn't really make it oh, too terribly far in Allegiant because I was exhausted by the time we got home. Uh, we went and looked at that house and it was a nice house, but it was so, so close to the neighbors. I mean, literally like 20 feet between that house and the neighbor's house and it's basically like living in an apartment where we're at, where we're at now so um you know both of us both me and my fiance want to be in the country we want to be a little bit farther away from people and we actually want to have at least a little bit of land uh, you know to garden and i would like to have horses eventually and he wants chickens and things like that so yeah the search continues for the fifth year in a row or well okay i guess we're coming up on the sixth year at this point so yeah that's uh <laughs> that's, that was super fun i mean the house was nice it was all redone um the floors were redone the walls were freshly painted it was just really weirdly set up so yeah i guess that's pretty much my update right now i may do another update later tonight when after I get my camera and get home, but because it's essentially an hour drive on the other side of my work and then a two hour drive back home, it's going to be at least seven o'clock before I get back home tonight. And by the time I eat dinner and, you know, take a shower and get relaxed, I probably will not do another video. So if this is the only update for today, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Well, it's finally Saturday night, and it is probably about 1 o'clock in the morning at this point. Um, I did finish Wicked. I know I said that. And I'm not very far into Son of a Witch. I've been reading it a little bit tonight. I'm on page 73. So, I haven't really gotten quite as far as I wanted to. I wanted to finish at least half the book by today so that I could finish the other half tomorrow, but that does not look like it's going to happen. Uh, maybe I'll get some more reading done tomorrow. Who the heck knows? I did get a um, audiobook finished yesterday, and that was the new one by uh, Tan France. And for the life of me, I cannot think of what it's called right now, but it was one of Audible's uh, free books per month because I ended up signing up for the subscription just so I could get the uh, the third Game of Thrones book. So that was one of the free ones that I picked up. So I did get that one finished yesterday while I was driving back from uh, getting my new camera, which I am not filming on today because yesterday, last night, I was trying to film a video. And then I promptly realized when I plugged the SD card into my laptop that it had no sound because my brand new microphone that works perfect with my phone does not work with my camera. So that was a good time. And then while the camera was still on my tripod, my lovely cat knocked it over and broke the SD card door. And if anybody knows anything about DSLR cameras, they don't work if the SD card door does not latch properly. So I was able to bend the piece off while break the piece off and kind of stick it in there so it's loose so that I can at least use the camera. But needless to say, I ended up having to pay $20 to order a plastic door for it. So, not very happy that I literally did not even have my camera 12 hours and the cat broke it. So, I guess I'm going to have to watch him from now on because that tripod is obviously not as sturdy as I thought it would be. So, yeah, good times. Um, anyway, I guess I'm going to keep reading Son of a Witch and I will do another update tomorrow and then get this video vlog finished and uploaded to YouTube. Have a great night, guys. Alright, Sunday night vlog update. So, <clears throat> I did actually finish reading three books, essentially. I finished reading Wicked, of course, which I said a couple of times by Gregory Maguire. And I actually sat down and read An Enchantment of Ravens today. Uh, and it only took me about a couple hours to get through. There are not that really that many pages to it, 294 or something. So, that really didn't take me that long to get through today. Um, <sighs> son of a witch. <laughs> After reading Wicked, it's just, it's kind of a lot, and it's just, it's not easy reading, like I said about Wicked, so 
it was very difficult for me to get into. I really, I really just needed an easy read, which is why I picked up and started reading An Enchantment of Ravens, because I knew I could get that one finished today, and it was going to be a little more light and fluffy. So, Son of a Witch, for right now, it's, it's DNF'd. Um... I will pick this back up eventually because I really do want to finish concluding the series, but I just need to read a couple of light and fluffy books for the moment because I'm working on Game of Thrones as an audible book. So yeah, I just needed something a little bit more light. Um, I did finish that Tan France book, which I just looked at the cover for and now can't think of the name, but I will throw it up on the screen again. I know it was in my, my Saturday update. So the other one that I finished reading, or started reading, is The Last Academy, and this one is by Anne Applegate, and I actually just picked this one up last night, uh, went down to the Ollie's Discount Store again, and got it for $3.99. Not sure if everybody can see that. $3.99. Um, I actually picked up a few other books there. Um, they're actually on my bookshelf over here, Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which I have heard really good things about. So I actually can't wait to start reading that because unlike most other people, I did not read that stuff when I was a kid, just like Harry Potter. I never picked up Harry Potter until I was an adult, okay? I had already watched all the movies and everything and I really didn't get into it. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, there's books. I mean, they're from my generation, yes, but I don't know I just did I didn't read kids books back then like I read more adult books when I was in the YA age range than I do now now I read more YA than anything else weird I know um I think that was it Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy Miss Peregrine and then I picked up the the last Academy one so I'm gonna keep reading last Academy so far it's it's okay <laughs> I don't I'm not sure what the what the whole plot of it is gonna be um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Um, so I finished essentially three books, the Tan France book, the Wicked book, and um, An Enchantment of Ravens. So I'm going to be doing, doing videos on at least Wicked and Enchantment of Ravens here pretty soon. Um, book reviews on those. I'm not going to do one on the Tan France book because that one was a, um, an LGBTQA, um, kind of like a, a storytelling, people telling like their coming out stories or just like an integral moment in their lives as far as the the LGBTQA community goes, which I mean, it was funny. It was great. And I really enjoyed it. But I really don't think that I need to kind of comment on people's experiences like that. So I'm just not going to do a review video on that. Um, I, I will just tell you that I five stars. I thought it was it was absolutely great. And um, listening to Tan France and his co host Nikki go through it all. It was funny. It was entertaining. And it was really quick. So Anyway, that was great, and uh, I guess that is it for my week, so I'm going to go ahead and film a couple of my review videos, and I'm going to edit this video and get it all online. So thanks guys, thanks for sticking with me this long, and I hope you have a great next week.